Last April 24, Luminar Neo 1.24 was released with a slew of features to enhance the photo editing experience. In this video, we're going to be running through the new features and whether 1.24 is worth the upgrade. The first improvement is Auto Adjust. This is a feature available for subscribers and upgrade pass owners. Auto Adjust utilizes AI to analyze an image and automatically adjust sliders for a balanced professional result with just one click. If this sounds familiar, it's because On1 pioneered a similar tool named Brilliance AI in Photo Raw 2024. So this is Luminar's version of it. To demonstrate Auto Adjust, let's use the feature in this high contrast raw image. I'll click Auto Adjust. And just like that, the sliders have been intelligently moved in a way to balance tones, darkening the sky while brightening the foreground. And the result is pretty good. Looking at a second image, you can see a similar satisfactory edit. By the way, another new feature of Auto Adjust is it periodically asks for feedback on the quality of the result and even allows for sharing of your file to help improve Luminar's models. Looking at a third raw image, which is badly overexposed, you can see how Auto Adjust correctly lowered the exposure and shadow sliders while keeping the rest of the sliders untouched. Looking at a fourth raw image, a night shot, you can see this time how Auto Adjust brightened the overall image while smartly keeping the colorful lights from being overblown. So you get the idea, even with just these four examples, you can see how Auto Adjust works in any type of lighting, outdoor, indoor, overexposed, underexposed, day or night, producing smart edits which don't look overprocessed. In addition, I also find it a great learning tool on how to properly use Luminar to adjust the tones. Bravo! But that's not all. Another overlooked benefit of Auto Adjust is it is a great way to batch process your photos. To start batch processing, I'll edit a photo with Auto Adjust. I'll navigate back to the catalog. I'll right click on the photo. I'll click Adjustments. Copy Adjustments. I'll select the photos to be adjusted. I'll paste the adjustment. And after a few moments, all the photos are fixed. A real time saver. So that was Auto Adjust, a very simple concept that just works. So let's move on to the next new feature, an all new export menu. Now in Luminar 1.24, exporting is more streamlined. You can now choose to export with the previous settings or choose from several quick export options, which really helps reduce the number of clicks. The most useful improvement in export though, to my mind, is its new support for DNG. DNG allows for maximum editing latitude in the exported file, which performs far better than JPEG. To demonstrate how it is used, let's export this image. But before doing that, I'll make some standard edits using Luminar's tools like Enhance, Twilight Enhancer, and Sunrays. There, the editing is done. I'll click Export. I'll select DNG, which is now one of the available formats. I'll click the Export button. There, exporting is done. Let's open the DNG in another tool, which can take advantage of its raw data. Let's use Affinity Photo. As you can see, the file is opened in Affinity Photo's developer persona and is treated as raw. Notice that even while the previous Luminar adjustments are saved and carried over to Affinity, moving the tone adjustment sliders, you can see the wide editing latitude of the raw file is maintained. And this allows for potentially more pleasing adjustments, much more than if it were just a JPEG. The third new feature is improvements to the Atmosphere AI tool. In case you didn't know, Atmosphere AI is Luminar's tool for adding fog, mist, or haze. This tool has been upgraded with improved depth mapping. So what's the difference? 
Comparing the previous and current tools, you can see that as I move the amount slider to maximum, the updated version shows more precise masking. Also, you can see that when moving the depth slider, how the fog effect looks significantly more convincing, thickening and thinning as the fog moves from the foreground to background, unlike in the previous version which had a more static effect. The fourth new feature is Clear the Cache. If you find Luminar Neo running slowly or feeling sluggish, or if you encounter glitches such as outdated thumbnails or incorrect previews, and the good news is Luminar 1.24 now allows for deleting the cache right in the settings. It's a much simpler option than manually searching for the files in Finder or File Explorer. So there you have it. Those are the four new features in Luminar Neo 1.24. Is it worth the upgrade? I would say that while these are nice improvements and better than nothing, for the most part, I would say no, it is not worth the upgrade unless, of course, you have a really old version of Luminar or need auto-adjust for batch processing or are somehow a heavy user of Atmosphere AI. Other than that, I would actually recommend waiting for a more substantial update which is usually released sometime in October when all the new photo editor versions are released. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of this update. Are you going to be using any of the new features? Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.